Hello and welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkhan Wiesma and today I'm going to try to film a massive uh, Fell Orchid a repot a video. So that means uh, quite some editing of course because um, yeah we cannot follow on uh, in real time everything because it will take up too much time. So I will speed uh, uh, things up as we go but I thought I'm going to try it because I'm really uh, I'm uh, looking forward myself as well to see uh, how those plants are doing. Uh, I think we're going to do a seven or eight fails, maybe uh, a few more. I don't know yet. We will see how it go, um, how we go. But um, yeah, I need to do quite a few repottings uh, still. If you've been long on my channel, you probably know why. If you don't, just uh, quickly explain that uh, my fails are uh, leaning over the pot and, and quite a lot of them are really growing out of the pot. They've been there for three, four, four and a half years. And uh, yeah, so I need to uh, get them out of the pot and put them back in, most cases in a, a even bigger pot because they have quite a root system. And we have quite some area roots that we need in the pot, etc. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's, it's uh, quite a job, but really fun to do. Like I said, I'm going to try to film it. Uh, I will see how it goes. So I'm going to first pick up the the camera, and we will have a look at them. How are how they are now? How are they now doing here on the on the on the wall on the fell wall? And then uh, I'm going to set up uh, inside of the orchid room. And uh, let's uh, let's have a, a big repot video. <laughs> so yeah, let's have a look at these big pots <laughs> and with my uh, big mamas, like uh, yeah, I like to call them. Uh, I already did, and so yeah, we have quite a few more to do. For example, this one with the ferns in, and this one has fairly long um, area roots. As you can see, they are, are really coming up uh, from that one. But um, she loves uh, her roots apparently. She has uh, decided to uh, make them even longer. And on this side we also have some area roots with growing tips as you can see. This one I tried to leave those aerial and that is because I just saw that she has, let me zoom in, uh, new roots on the way there as you can see. So I'm trying to get those in a pot. So we have a new root system in a few months inside of the new pot and thereby I can leave those area roots because I like the look of them and this one probably has the longest so far I think. Really long area roots and like I said I like the look of it so I try to uh, save them sort of as aerial. And then we have down here these two guys or girls we're going to do. Those I really, really love because they are sort of uh, making a bouquet. They start to grow these cakey, the, these basil cakey uh, plants, which makes them even bigger. And I really like the look of them and the blooms, of course. But yeah, so those need a uh, repot as well. As you can see, this one is leaning outside of the pot as well. And this one is really at the edge of the pot uh, as well as the other one maybe we're going to do that one and then I over here I have this yellow one this is also this is we're definitely going to do this one because <laughs> this is the plan it's a fairly long old uh, rhizom as you can see but she's really hanging out of the pot so we have some roots in there those are the older roots so if they start to die off this plant will fall out of her pot so that one needs a repot as well same story goes for this beautiful yellow one also on the side of the pot this one has a lot of aerial roots also heading to the edge of the pot this beautiful pink one then we have this one this one definitely needs to go in a bigger pot beautiful thyme she started to grow, uh, grow the roots again and maybe we're going to do these two as well so yeah there are quite a few and we have even more here so as you can see i have a lot of uh, <laughs> plans for this video and like i said i'm just going to see that one there is also uh, could use a repot so yeah I'm, I'm going to start otherwise we uh, take up too much time for the intro of course but now you have a bit of an idea how they look before the repot so you know why i decided to uh, to do this repot so here we go you guys i'm going to set up and uh, let's start uh, working <laughs> so yes you guys let's go with the first one this is the one with the uh, incredibly long aerial roots as you can see 
there goes a pebble. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to see how we're going to do this, but uh, I think I'm going to at least do the part where I do take them out of the pot in real uh, real time. And the up potting maybe uh, speed it up a little bit. So yeah. There we go. Sorry for the noise, but yeah, that's how it goes. That was the first part. <laughs> Let me see, we have quite a lot of uh, fern roots. I'm going to take those ferns out because they uh, like to uh, drink the reservoir empty very quickly. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a lot of uh, roots of the cell in here. There we go. But enough, it's, uh, as you can see, probably the ones with a more darker color are the ones that were in the pot. Well, I'm taking some ferns roots out. Here we have a, oh, there's some leaves of the ferns, but I must admit it looks uh, nice. It looks good. We have some older fern roots there and we have some new roots here i think those were on the other side of the pot i'm not completely sure or inside but it looks great absolutely great and this is why we don't going to up pot the area roots because of this root there do i need to take something off no this felt off by its own so i don't have well this is an old root i can take it off like this yeah i need to uh, cut off a few roots I thought I didn't have some, but these are the very old ones. They are on the back of the orchid. And those are dry, which happens. Oops. Shoot. Well, this is not a promising start. I thought it was a complete dead root. Well, it's not. Well, it is now. <laughs> yeah. So sorry. I sh but this part, I thought it was, was dead. Luckily, it has some extra roots, but I need to check it better. It happens, it's not the end of the world, but it's a little bit sad, of course. Yeah, and that's it. It's a beautiful root system. Okay, so let's start pot this up again. Okay, so I have my uh, new media ready. I'm going to try to use the old pots because I think it, it doesn't have that many roots that were growing in a pot. Obviously, it has a lot of aerial roots. So this is going to be a, a bit of a puzzle. Uh, and I sort of need extra hands. But I'm trying to uh, untangle these. This is also an aerial root, so you can go there. Then, of course, in the back we have aerial roots. Uh, let's see. Can we do this? Like this. And I want to put it more in the, in the back of the pot, of course. So those new roots can go grow inside of the pot as well. And she can be in there for several more years to come. And this one is, I think, the difficult, most difficult one probably <laughs> we're going to do today because of those long aerial roots. But yeah, I think this is uh, looking nice. Yeah, we have quite some uh, roots in the pot. So that's a better angle, I think. But now I need to put in the media. So, and I always let some media fall out. So I need to put it in this uh, tray <laughs> so I can collect the media that didn't go in the pot. Otherwise it will be all over the floor. But here we go. Slowly but surely. What I also like to do is uh, use a little bit of the media that was already in the pot. Okay. Just to... Uh, because this one is doing very well. Uh, I have some good bacteria probably in there. And I like to uh, use those. So I'm going to put in a little bit of that media back in. That old media. 
So I don't boil it, I don't flush it. This is the same orchid, and I'm a strong believer of good beneficial bacteria. So I'm going to put those back just a little bit, and the rest I will uh, will um, boil someday and, and flush and use for other orchids. And to get some new pumice. So I like uh, the pumice a bit better, but that's why I, uh, I like to reuse just a handful of media that she was already in with. I'm not completely sure, but I think there are beneficial uh, bacteria. Oh, why not? It's uh, inorganic media, so that's uh, why we can do that. And that's why I love it for more reasons, but that's one of them. It's reusable. So this is uh, looking quite good, I think. Yes, it does. It does. Look at that. Yeah, I'm just checking if I don't have too big area. Uh, area yeah, area holes. I don't think so. So let's grab some pebbles as a top layer. And I've just found these. It's a little bit dusty, but it's not the end of the world. Those are the same I already used, but they, those are bigger. And I like to use those for the fells. But because fells really enjoy a lot of air and immunity. So these allow for more air gaps, bigger air gaps, I should say, on top of the pot. And yeah, I found that the fells really enjoy that. They really uh, like to search for the moisture, the roots, to really go inside of the pot, big air holes, and find their way through the media. And that's, that's one of the things I really love of fells, those roots going everywhere. So you guys, this is the first one. Um, I'm going to grab another one and probably going to speed up a, a little bit of that process because as you can imagine, this will take all day way too long but this is the first one see it's really freshened up and can now grow on for several years talking about that let me show you 2019 so and it was in may so we have 20 21 22 23 so that is uh let me do it like this four years in this pot so yeah see is a uh, she enjoyed it, I think. Let's go for another four years at least. I hope so. <laughs> so, uh, the next one is already on the table. But before we're going to have a look at that one, a few things to mention. If I do a repot them, I will flush them uh, afterwards because you saw the pebbles are a little bit dusty, so I give them a flush with just RO water and some seaweed. And that is probably it. I normally don't flush them because I don't think it, uh, they need it. As you can see, they really do well. Um, and I don't uh, like to flush them as much, but I do flush them when they just de uh, did get a repot. So yeah, just to quickly show you what I'm uh, talking about, the flushing part. Uh, I use the Elga Mic from BioBase. I really enjoy this uh, uh, brand. Uh, yeah, I also have the Calmic from them, etc. But the seaweed is are very good as well. I put it in this one and then I put some RO water in there as well. So that's the water that I use for flossing. Here you can see it's the color. And like I said, I only floss my orchids when I just did a repot on them or an up potting. It just depends with all of them, just to get the extra dust out. So this is all what I'm doing. Just a little bit of water over those stones, just to freshen it up a little bit. And to get the first moisture in there on the new aerial roots in this case. And that's it. That's the flushing part. That's, uh, that's one thing that I would like to mention <laughs> because it's very, uh, very important, I think. Well, look at this one. This is from uh, 2018 December. So that's for at least four and a half years. This one is in this pot. It's one of my older ones. So uh, that means it did go through a lot. <laughs> I had a lot of issues when I started uh, the self-watering setup. I needed to learn a, a heck of a lot. And this one uh, uh, did lose uh, quite some roots uh, because I did, uh, did have that pH problem. Uh, maybe that's why she decided to make that many keikis. I'm not completely sure. But as you can see, we have roots to work with. 
and some new gold. And this is called, this has a name, this is Fenelly Dragon's Gold. I really love that name. I love dragons, I love gold. <laughs> and it's beautiful, it has these more pointy shapes. Uh, leaves which I do like and uh, we have quite some uh, cakeys so if those all start to bloom that may uh, in, in one day that would look uh, quite nice I think so here we go I never use Cintiq anymore with my fails and because we uh, do lose the air gaps which I just uh, told you guys that in my opinion they really enjoy it the fails so yeah I shouldn't use Cintiq I definitely do not recommend it but I had it in there quite a lot actually so yeah I think a uh, repot is uh, is something uh, this file can appreciate <laughs> yes there it is that's a really old one well that was to be expected after four and a half years in this setup the rest is really looking good yeah, even this one, it's a little bit dark, but it's firm. It's a beautiful plant, absolutely beautiful. Nice roots. So uh, let's get this one into a new pot. So yeah, let me quickly uh, show you what kind of types of pots I use, especially the big ones. This is just a regularly, regular plastic pot. I did uh, burn some holes in, put in two hooks put them together with a cable tie so they cannot uh, lean over like this or start to fall over. So that's why I uh, use two hooks to keep it uh, straight like this. So that's the outer part. This is the inner part. It's uh, a food container or food bucket, just how you want to call it. And I did burn four holes in there as you can see, because this one does fit in, but it will not touch the bottom of the pot where the reservoir is so it needs something to get the moisture inside of the pot and that is why i use the longer version of Cintiq. these are a meter long and i put those through the holes so we have here a hole let me quickly demonstrate this and I, this is the amount that i will let stick out something like that and the other end of the Cintiq will go through a hole as well let me quickly do that there we are so you can see it's hanging like this and i have this part of the Cintiq to keep on the side of the pot so we can uh, so it can wick the water up from the reservoir and take it inside of the pot so and we'll do the other one on this side and then uh, we have a beautiful setup so you can see it can go in here and wick up the water I think I was talking about not wetting these roots and putting them in the pot. And like I said, I did it with other uh, orchids and I have the same type of root holes. They, those roots do break a little bit. It's, it's unavoidable. It's, hap it's going to happen and it's not the end of the world. As long as your actual roots or the inner root, this, uh, this part, very, <coughs> very thin part, I'm sorry. If that stays intact, you should be fine and the roots will uh, start to, sh uh, to branch and uh, start to grow again. And if they are really, really, really long and a lot like my uh, Leodora fell, I'm going to wet them and make them a little bit easier. But as you can see, this is not very difficult with this one because the pot is so much bigger than the previous one. There's more root, uh, room for the roots to go. All the new roots are now inside of the pot. So that's better for uh, for the future, of course. So yeah, I think this is it. Let me put her back in there. date on as you can see it was 18 it's now 23 so this is good to go let's do the next one and that one i will speed up uh, more so you saw now the process and now we're going to continue with the rest <laughs> so let's have a look at this one. Oh, look at that what a root beautiful this is the other model plan with the keikis with the beautiful rusty blooms but yeah Look at that, absolutely beautiful. 
this is great this is great see he's been in this spot since uh, 2019 so that's way over the three years yeah absolutely beautiful we have some older roots in there that was to be expected but they are coming out of the pot and yeah i'm sorry i'm going to damage a few but it needs to be happened this one really needs a bigger home don't you think <laughs> so here we go So yeah, I think this is it for now. We have some older parts here and there, but it's not the end of the world. Because as you can see, it still uh, has a healthy uh, piece of root underneath that. But yeah, it's beautiful. So many roots. I really, really love this one for that. I love them all, of course. But yeah, this is what we want, of course. We try to get those roots in. And then you have a strong plant and you will have better blooming, better growth. So yeah, this is beautiful. Let's uh, give her a new home. So, and that's another one done, as you can see. <laughs> it looks absolutely fantastic i think in this new pot and so much room for those roots again uh, lots of aerial holes air, air holes i should say <laughs> and uh, yeah it looks beautiful beautiful uh cake is here so yeah okay you guys let's do the next one and there we go we have the next one this is <laughs> it gets stuck here we are i believe yeah this is the beautiful yellow one. And this one actually has a name as well. Let me quickly show the tag. If you want to look it up, this is a she and it has been in this spot for quite a while as well, 2019. So yeah, several years, three and a half years, something like that. So time to do a repot. For sure, and this one is really climbing out of the pot, as you can see. And she's really stuck in here with all those roots. I'm sorry, I'm going to break a few. And there she goes. Oh yeah. I really need to reposition this. My hands. Ah, I see already what is happening here. I uh, used this cable tie to get those hooks together. I hope you can see it, but one root decided to grow in between the cable tie and the hooks. So this should do that. Yeah, I should have got that one straight away. So yeah, that root is damaged for sure, but it should be fine because it has enough roots. Let's try this again. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit easier. A little bit easier. Yes, one root is really attached to the outer parts on the inside. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Side. So, yeah, we have. So, yeah. We still have quite some roots, as you can see. But also, you probably see the older roots in there. And that's why we do these repots as well, because we need more roots in the pot so it, the archer can grow uh, better uh, structures, especially leaves. This one should have bigger leaves, I believe, or can have bigger leaves. So probably a uh, better, more roots, not, not, not necessarily a better root system, because this one has quite some roots, but bit more roots inside of the pot are is very beneficial of course so yeah beautiful roots i don't think i'm going to use these inside of the pot i'm not completely sure actually 
but we shall see. I'm going to clean up and uh, start repotting this one. And there she is, you guys. So I think uh, this one did went very well as well. It looks pretty awesome, if you ask me. <laughs> and there was the next one. <laughs> and this is, see, this is the Van Leops's Golden Apple Ox. And see, he's been in this pot since 19, 2019. So also uh, three, three and a half years, pretty long. And I do remember this one that I had quite some difficulties to get this one to grow. But at least we have quite some roots on the outside of the pot. So we, uh, we did probably succeed it with that. But yeah, the first uh, two years weren't that easy. I just kept on losing the roots. It was just not a happy orchid to, to begin with. Probably uh, too much hormones in this plant to get it to bloom, I think. I'm not completely sure, but let's uh, let's take it out of the pot because she needs a new home as well. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, we have also healthy water roots. Hope you can see them. They are down here, the darker ones. And luckily they are outside of the pot. So didn't, they do not come from uh, a root inside of the pot, but this one was uh, in between the outer pot, this root. Here we go. So yeah, not much roots in the pot, I think. No, not, not really, not really. Let's have a look, but still, we have quite some roots, don't get me wrong. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. So it's a little bit, yeah, I need to adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. So you can see, this is the older root system, the darker roots once again. And we have quite a few aerial roots, uh, not aerial, uh, water roots here. So yeah, we have, it's okay. It's a nice uh, root system. But yeah, like I said, I struggled with this one some, somehow. I'm not completely sure, but I think she is uh, getting happy again. So. <laughs> Another one go. done. <laughs> so yeah, I have one root as you can see, it's fairly new root. I just uh, leave it there. But you can see on the base, he's making more new roots and those will go uh, inside of the pot. And the rest of the roots, most of them, the majority is inside of the pot, as you can see. So yeah, that's another one done. Let's, uh, let's grab a new one. And there she is, I did promise the pink one as well. Beautiful uh, blooms. We start to go over now, but still, still very nice, I think. This one has also quite some uh, aerial roots. Not completely sure what to do with them, but anyhow, let's start with the first step, and that is getting her out of the pot. And then we will decide to do from there what to do with those roots, I should say. Yeah, there she goes. She also has quite some. Uh, nice branching roots in here as you can see so we have roots to work with this is uh, beautiful of course this one yeah finally up is tilken i believe tilken and uh, again 2019 so quite some years in this pot <laughs> Yeah, this one uh, doesn't mind a cleaning up, I believe. Let's uh, put this to the side. So yeah, we have some uh, some older roots that was to be expected, of course. Still quite some roots, nonetheless, but some older parts as well that I'm just 
cutting off, of course. This is the opportunity to do that. And there we go, another one done. So yeah, I decided to uh, keep uh, some area roots as well on this one because they are so long and we have quite some roots that did uh, go inside of the pot. Enough to uh, keep this orchid uh, happy and healthy, I believe. And also for this one is that every new uh, root that she will uh, make in the near future will uh, go inside of the pot as well. So yeah, yeah, I'm happy. This one looks uh, very well and nice. And there is the next one. And before I forget, maybe you noticed this bottle. This is my rubbing alcohol. So yes, I do sanitize this in between uh, the repots, just to let you know, in case you wondered. So here is this one. This is a, where is the deck? Oh, here, it's still in a pot. <laughs> a fairly, uh, I see this one uh, quite often with other growers as well, because you are, so that's this one. And this one has also been in the pot since 19. So three, three and a half years, something like that. See, it's starting to make new roots, as you can see. So it's a nice time, even though she's not changing the setup. But still, what am I doing? Let's get it out of the outer pot first. Yes, here we go. And put it there. And Let's loosen up the water meter. I have a period where I did uh, tie up the water meters. Nowadays I don't do that anymore, but these need to come off, of course, otherwise it will not come out of the pot. Uh, yeah. Oops, there it goes. Okay, that is done. So here we go. Have a look at the root system. Beautiful new root tips on several of these roots, and some older ones in there. So I need to uh, do a little bit of cleaning up on this one. Before we're going to uh, repot it, but not even that much, to be honest. After all those years of growing. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's not bad, even though uh, it doesn't have the biggest root system. If you compare it to the other ones, it's still uh, it's pretty uh, pretty fine, I believe. Really happy with uh, with the results that I see so far. We have some other roots here in the back. Those are dried up completely. Take them off. <laughs> Take them off, they have no purpose anymore. They did do their job. And I have one here, I believe. Yeah. That part can come off as well. So yeah, this one is ready to uh, get into her new parts. Another one done. So yeah, you guys, are you still with me? I have no idea how I did edit this video. But uh, yeah, let me know if, you, uh, if you're still here. Uh, so far, I really enjoy doing this. I'm just so happy with the results I see so far. The beautiful root systems. Obviously, one plant does have a little bit more roots than the other one, but so far, yeah, I think my fowls really, uh, really like uh, the setup 
and uh, also the greenhouse and uh, I think they do get enough light etc but yeah it's, it's just so good to see uh, such uh, beautiful results after three four years growing in this setup a setup that had changed a bit and uh, people had uh, doubts about it not flossing etc but uh, I think uh, for me at least it works so yeah I'm happy please let me know if you uh, enjoy it as well as so far we have a few more to do um, but this is uh, this is another one done. Another one done. <laughs> so let's uh, grab a, a new fresh one. So there we are again. And uh, you probably have this seen this one before. It's the beautiful one. For one, I really really love this one. Beautiful flowers. It's the hot kiss something. Let me see. Chi Xing hot hot kiss. Yes, it's absolutely stunning. And I'm choosing this one because it has these very very long spikes and it's really a stop heavy a lot of roots are outside of the pot but these are at a length that i think we can uh, still uh, up pot them without doing too much damage and this one uh, really can uh, use the extra support it is a, uh, a happy bloomer but I, I hope to get a few more leaves on there this one is going but i hope to uh, to get a few more leaves on there and therefore i need a, a very well rooted root system of course so uh and this is the last one for this video because i run uh, i'm running out of pots <laughs> but uh yeah it's uh, it's a nice marathon i think and yeah we start uh, we stop with uh, this this beautiful one anyhow uh first thing of course is to get it out of the pot whoops uh, it's not the end of the world, but we have some uh, water still in there. In the reservoir. Let's put it there. Let me check. Yeah, I have tied this, oh, whoops, this uh, water meter up as well. I feel almost like a limbo dancer moving this orchid around because I need to uh, bend over just not to hit the flower spikes or break them. And this is coming off almost, yes. Yeah, I shouldn't have done this, but yeah. Also things that I've learned, and this is, uh, yeah, it has beautiful roots, absolutely beautiful. But we see some uh, other roots in there as well. So it can use uh, a bit of clean up. Yeah. For sure. out one is stuck in the hole there uh, it's a bit difficult to get it out yeah there's a new root tip there a branch that I just did break off wasn't in intending but here it is but it didn't fit uh, through the hole anymore this one has been in her pot also from 19, so about three, three and a half years, something like that. Four years, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, yeah, three, four years. Quite some years, let's put it like that. <laughs> Here we have a fern. Let's go there. And as you can see, we uh, have some older roots. We have a beautiful root system, nonetheless, but also some older roots that have done their job. Let me zoom in a little bit, which was to be expected, of course. Let me uh, get those out quickly. Let's say it saves me a little bit of time when I start to clean up the media again. <laughs> and let's have a look. I'm going to cut off the really old parts. And I hope I will not cut off good roots like I did with the first one. But yeah, it wasn't bad because they have enough roots, but still, I don't like to cut off good uh, good roots. Yeah, these are very dry. Can come off. It's really nice to give them a good cleanup after all those years in inside of the pots. So hopefully they can go on and grow at least another four years in the pot or three years this is also a, a dead root 
can come off and here we have one and a few more there we go it's starting to look better then we have this one oh, it's this one this one there we go we can come off another dry one over here yes you can come off you as well so yeah really the back uh, the first roots of the oldest roots i should say those can uh, come off this one is still okay a bit strange color but it uh, does look fine and here we have an old piece we just did cut off yes well a little bit of old material there yeah look at this beautiful absolutely beautiful so many roots so yeah this is going in a bigger pot and then hopefully she can support a little bit more of a, a little bit better the leaves i really like my fells to get also as many leaves as they can but anyhow we shall see so far so good so let's uh, grab uh, the new pot And there is the last one done for this video. Look at that. Lots of room for those beautiful roots to grow into. And the new ones. And she's nice in the middle of the pot. So she can uh, stay in here probably for another uh, three and a half, four years. Who knows? So, um, yeah, I'm going to put this back and I'm going to grab the camera and we will have a look at all of them. We just did. <laughs> So yeah, I have this uh, big uh, cooking pan where I uh, store my used media in so I can boil it. And this was completely empty. <laughs> so yeah, we did fill it up. And I said I was running out of pots, but you can see I still have one left, but it needs the holes in. So yeah, but this pan, uh, pan is also filled with media, so I need to boil it at first. And I think for this video, we did quite a, quite a few. I hope uh, it was enough. And what you also get, of course, is these pots that they came out of. So yeah, I need to uh, wash and clean that. <laughs> that will I do, uh, will do after this video. But yeah, what to do with those pots, right? <laughs> Luckily, I did buy quite a few uh, orchids uh, the last uh, two weeks or so. You probably see my, saw my unboxing video. So uh, those will uh, come in uh, fairly handy. Well, let's start with, uh, with the one uh, there, this one with the very long area roots that we did leave on there. And I'm happy we did because it looks awesome. And we could do that because she, did make, or she does make new roots and those will go inside of the pot. So that one is, uh, that's the only one that did stay in her pot. And I didn't mention it, but I hope you, you can see that this leaf is looking nicer. I saw the spots, the markings on there. And it was from spider mites. But I think it's okay now. So those don't look, but this, uh, like I said, this leaf looks uh, very nice. So I think it's, uh, it's good to go. And here we have the other one. This is the last one we just did with the uh, very long uh, spikes. Yeah, it looks a little bit awkward, but that's how it goes because he is uh, positioned completely different than she was in this new pod. So yeah, the spikes go everywhere, but we did find a sort of way to uh, keep them. The new spikes will uh, will be fine, but yeah, that is C. And we also did this one. This is the yellow one, and the Francis Picotti. That is this one. It's over here. Then we have the two mother plants. Look at that, so beautiful. So yeah, you can see they're taking up a little bit more room, but. Yeah, overall, I still like the look of it. What am I saying? I really like the look of it. I absolutely love it, this wall, wall of fells. And we have a few here. Uh, look at that, look at those roots. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Here we have some roots on this one. The one that I had some difficulties to start off, that is this one. Beautiful new roots coming there, so she should be fine. 
But I did break this leaf, sadly. Yeah. Such a shame. So yeah, we have two. We had two casualties. The first one was the first one. I did cut off a, a root. It was still kind of okay. And then I did break this leaf. But furthermore, yeah, and a root tip. I did break a root tip. But furthermore, I think I did kind of do okay. Yeah, it happens, but still, it, I really hate it when I do that. But yeah, beautiful. I'm really happy that we could keep some area roots on some markets. So yeah, before I forget, you probably wondered where where are the water meters? <laughs> well, yeah, I have ordered ones that are really long and big, like this one, and I will put them in later because they do fit in between the outer pot and the inner pot of those new uh, new bigger uh, pots that I used. So yeah, that's why you didn't see me use those uh, water meters. That will come later on. I just had a few left. And like this one, so yeah, I can, uh, I will definitely use the water meters again. And this is why, as you can see, if I tap it, yeah, it's, uh, it's now getting stuck. There it is again. That means, and I can feel the, uh, that there's water underneath the reservoir. But now I know for sure that it still has water there. So that's why I really, really, really like these guys. So that was something I wanted to mention. And also that I do have a, uh, care collab video on uh, more on in depth on what type of care I do give my fails but uh, just to give you a short notice <laughs> I do uh, do feed my fails at a very low level if you compare to most growers so in summer it's around 100 parts per million in the, in the reservoir and in winter it's 30 up to 50 so uh, little bits of feed weekly weekly i'm a really strong believer of um, that way of growing my orchids and so yeah i think we just saw that at least for me it works this uh, this setup with not too much feed and just give them every single week a new feed, uh, just a little bit, small amount. So they do get their feed, but not in a huge amount at once. And uh, without flushing, because they do not have salt built up, because they eat what they get. And if there's a little bit of left, it's not that much that we do get salt built up. So I have a type of balance found there that works for me and for my plants. So yeah, we need to do more, not in this video, but I need to do that one and that one and that one and that one. <laughs> so a lot of uh, repots uh, to come. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, uh, a similar type video again, maybe later on in the year. I'm not sure. Please let me know if you like it and I will, will think about it. But uh, yeah, at least I needed to do one um, video, of course, and just a little bit distracted by the size of these white White fell blooms. These keep on getting bigger. Absolutely bigger. Beautiful. This is a keiki that I did get a few years back. And I have another white one. This was known for its large blooms. But the other one is pretty much the same size. Maybe it's the same type of fell. <laughs> I don't know, but they look uh, really awesome. Anyhow, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you have any questions, please leave them uh, in the comment section. If you like, please give the, the, this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you didn't already, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. That really helps as well. Thank you so much. And I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.